Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. It has been almost a year since my last video on this series and it would have been a lot less by about a month if uh, life didn't get in the way and multiple uh, recording issues. I have hopefully fixed it. If I haven't then uh, oh well. The issue that I've been mainly been having is slight blurriness in my like movement or whatever i don't know if it's still there i don't know if it's i've i've done literally everything that i can i've done i'm just looking up fucking information from everywhere like i've done everything that i could po possibly do my system can definitely run and record at the same time i've got the got a decent system to to do that i just don't, I'm not sure what the hell is going on at all um but uh yeah besides that looking back to this world um this town's expanded a lot there's an airport there that i'll get to in a bit man this town's expanded i need more fucking bus routes jesus Right, so today um, I'm just going to essentially be showing you what I've done um, because while I haven't been recording this series for X amount of time, I have been working on it. I will be working on this um, world. So that's, that's essentially what we're, what we're going to do today. I'm just going to dive in and show you what I've done and then in the next episode we'll actually progress more to complete this uh, this, uh, this world I have a steel uh, mill thing being made it is requiring coal for some reason do I need more coal trains? wait hold up Wait, this is coal. Hang on, hold up. What? Huh? You should be going on the other side. Hold up. No, you need to be going on the other one. You go on one. Because they'll... It was always one. Why did you just magically change? Oh well. So yeah, that's that. Um, um, I've got some Queensland Rail branded locomotives. These these are uh, wagons here aren't Queensland Rail. These ones, however, are. You've got the Broncos style diesel locomotives. With these are uh, coal. Oh, wa uh, wagons? Yeah, wagons. Fuck it. You can see they've got the Queensland drain. A lot of a lot of um, Australian and like Queensland stuff has been coming out recently uh, on the workshop. So because I live in that state of Australia, um, you damn well right. I'm gonna get it all. Get as much as I can. Um, there is New South Wales stuff as well being added alongside uh, Victoria and there was an Adelaide EMU as well in there but nothing nothing too much in that regard compared to uh, Queensland, fucking New South Wales, Victoria etc so yeah I've got the, I'm not sure if I had this had this, had this uh, steel mill set up I don't think I did I might have I don't know um, but it goes to here now, which is falling a lot. So, yeah, that's just a, that's just a simple steel mine that uh, moves along the main line here, over to here, and then supplies them to the big main hub that we have over here. Now, I'll get to this main line here in uh, a tick. We'll just start from up here at Wollongong. So this is one of the uh, terminus ends, as you can see, because this this side of the network is heavenly inspired by the the transport system that I have here, of course, in 
uh, my state. Are you lost? Hang on. No, you, you're, you're just waiting in mine. So we've got the new NGR trains. You didn't see them close. Now, it, the sound and the animation is off sync because of the game's like tick speed. The game is running out a lot slower than what it should be just due to the fact of there's just so much shit in the world that it has to like render and process so but like if you if you had a more performance based world these would sync up perfectly and i know because i've tested this i've also tested their speed <laughs> i did a I did a whole like world dedicated to how fast these things can go uh, we've got these ones, which are the these IMUs. Yeah, the SMUs. I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm pretty sure these are the IMUs, even though they're different. We've got SMUs, the airport variant. If I can find one, let's have a look. Right, those are both NGR. Why are you stopping there? You're waiting for a free part. Oh, hang on. You're gonna cause issues. I've just, um... Set a lot of trains to come along onto this side. Which is why this one's being weird. Another one of those. It's got the classic EMUs, the very old, uh, very old uh, electric locomotives. Here we go. These are what I thought were the SMUs, but apparently they've got IMU variants. I'm not sure what the difference is between an IMU and an SMU. I just always thought these were the SMUs because this is like. The, the type, like the difference between all these fucking uh, trains. Maybe it means suburban multiple unit. Yeah. Who knows? Um, I do have a depot somewhere around here, don't, don't I? Yes, there you are. Here we go, we got the classic EMUs from all the way back in, it says it somewhere. It probably doesn't. Build date, 1979 is when these were constructed. At least that's what the in-game one tells us. It could have been done much later, I'm not too sure. But essentially, we've got all these different liveries, every single one of them. But uh, it's uh, time. So, yeah, now here, yeah, yeah, these were the IMUs. And they also had SMU variants as well. Suburban, yeah, okay, suburban. Ah, okay. So. <laughs> If these two aren't the same. These two trains aren't the same. The, the 100 series, the doors are flush to the outside of the um, train, whereas the 200 series, they go into the train when they open and, uh, and close and they leave a little gap. I st but these ones here, the, these ones are... Comp these All these trains are all the same. The IMUs and the SMUs for the... For the 260s and the 160s. I don't understand why you need to um, name them with IMUs and SMUs if they're just going to be the same train. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, we've got the, Q, the, the next generation rolling stock. We've got we've got the test variant, the the, the test livery that it was uh, going around the network. 
and of course the uh, indigenous skinned train of which I've got one roaming around the uh, network looks pretty really nice um, yeah so yeah I've got I don't have buses for these I'm gonna add them at some point when I stop being lazy um, and I'll probably do it off camera as well but I've got two networks plus an express that go to, go to here I'll be adding more in the future maybe one more route maybe another express it just depends on how the network fares but I'm also concerned about how many trains I can fit through this little gap here which is essentially like the two biggest and the two busiest stations excluding like the main hub um, I say that but there's also this place which is quite busy as well so all the trains come through here I've got three lines and all of them come through here and they stop here, and they stop here. I, I didn't need to make it this. I didn't meet need that. I need to make two stations, but I I wanted to, so that's why that's there. Um, and originally this was just a, just a shuttle sy um, s system, from here to here to connect to here. Um, but of course I have changed all that, and added a fully fledged network through here. Um, and this goes up to here as well. To Mount Gambo, 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 Gambia, Gambia, yeah, that. Um, and this little, like, single track uh, contraption here is uh, something I'm quite uh, pleased about. It's, it's, it's just nice. So this is a very small, like, side net network, if you would say. This one is quite highly unnecessary, but I wanted to because for the sake of, uh, it's my world, I can do what I want, alright? So it's, I've got, so th this train just goes from here, to here, to here, and to here, and then back again. It's a simple, like, shuttle for the little region. I think I've realised I've just spelt that wrong. I think I, yeah, I have, haven't I? I have, there's two L's on that. Well, it's going to stay there, um, because fuck you. There's the Sydney shuttle, so that's what this train here is this train ha has more of a purpose and goes from here down to here and then all the way back up to Sydney in the back again because it'll be uh, pretty much bringing the people from Sydney to the main line um, I need to delete that line because I no longer need it and now I've got some cargo as well going towards them. It was built weirdly and very high, but I couldn't be fucked to bother doing anything about it. So I just left it. This section was originally single track, but because of the the, the cargo line that I wanted wanted to add, I made I made it double track here. I changed this platform from two platforms to uh, two platforms that are center track for the for the for the for the cargo to go into the middle as like a siding as this all sorts itself out this is all set to I believe 40 k's an hour yeah just because it would be kind of unrealistic at such a high steep and a sharp turn considering how close these two are to be going at like 100 k's an hour so yeah, I've just done that. So yeah, these trains only use the one platform. That might change in the future if I if I need to add more trains. But for now, it's a system that works, and um, the sign the signaling system prevents anything from getting stuck in between the the, uh, the two bridges and the gaps. And then, as you can see, the, the cargo fits in quite nicely into the side so he's not trapping this train and then he'll wait as that one goes and once this one is clear the cargo will just go right over here back onto cigar not back onto two tracks and then back onto the main like cargo uh, collection hub which I might have um, overboarded on that but oh well 
Um, so yeah, more stations. Just these, are, these, this side here has got buses and bus routes for it. As when I first made the line, I just added all these, and I haven't added all these are the most these are the the, the most recent ad additions to the to the network. That's why they don't have any buses. These will be added as well. I'm not. I'm contemplating whether I want to connect these up to Balaclava or I want to have these terminate here at Glenlong and come all the way back. Or maybe even just have them as a shuttle service to Balaclava or something. Because my, my, my issue is, is that how many more trains can I stick on here before it becomes chocker block? Like through this network. Ah, uh, here's the, the, um, the indigenous skin train. Look at that. Very nice. Very aboriginal, very cultural. For our, our country. Very nice. I need to replace that one actually. It's gone of old age. Make it look brighter. There we go, much brighter. Look at that. What, what, when these get old, they like accumulate white dusk for whatever reason. So, yeah, they're everything. Nice and bright, lovely. So, yeah, here, see, I'm, I'm already getting some trains backing up. Although, this is because this one needs to be on this side. And he's, he's struggling again. He's like. That, that actually doesn't count because I did send a bunch of trains over to the other line which that one originally was on the red line going up this way and I've moved, moved them over to the, uh, the green line here so that'll take some time to sort of stuff out um, I did yeah I did add a second oil because uh, surprisingly one one particular line, I think it was, I think it might have been this one, considering that this one had 6.3, like, thousand, um, kept running low on, uh, oil on one of the sides, so I decided to add more, and he's already maxed out, like, I didn't do, I, I didn't max it out, I put it as a one for starters, because I didn't think it would need that much anyway, but, uh, clearly I, I was wrong, so yeah, that's, that's a thing that's going on. I've also replaced them to have uh, two engines instead of just one. I noticed they were struggling going up like the tiniest of inclines. So go the one and only cargo train, and of course we've got some uh, Queensland Rail based. Cargo. The issue with these is that unlike the the double stackers from back back here, where they essentially assign their own like asset and texture based on what the product is, um, I have to manually assign a, a texture to these cars. They don't just automatically add their own texture to it, which is slightly annoying. I kind of wish they had an option for that. Uh, but they don't, so yeah, that's fine. And then yeah, terminus here, of which I want to make. I need to do some work with this. I need to make this uh, probably the center track, center station a bit longer. Hmm. Yeah, like th this whole track system might need to get reworked. I need to look into how I'm going to do that. Because, because once, once I've finished with this network, I'll be adding a Super Express. What is a Super Express? Um, a Super Express is essentially going from point A to point B, stopping at the main station, of which I've already got one set up. It was a trial one, a run, what one run, trial run, um, that, uh, yeah, it seems to be right. Seems to be going well. It's not, um, as you probably saw there, it is making me money, at least, yeah, here, 86,000, 
And essentially, he goes from uh, over here. I've got his own little side track here, of which there are people lining up. So he goes from here, he gets onto his separate secondary track. Ignore that third track I fucked up uh, when I was making it. Um, nothing is on this line except for these trains. More uh, like super express routes may be added to that, to, to, uh, to that line. But besides that, that'll, that'll be the only thing that'll be on these lines. Um, then they go to Mount Baker, they stop here. And then they just travel on through on their own line all the way to Rockhampton to little to no like interruption, no nothing in to stop them. To, um, yeah. And that's where these airports come in. So we've got airports at Rockhampton, we've got airports over here as well. And there was airport all the way over here at Perth, I believe the town is called. Yep, Perth. They all come to the centra, the centra, the central um, hub here, of which I've realised now that I probably needed need to configure to put more uh, runways to, of which I need to do some bulldozing over here. So um, inevitable destruction for the town of Kanyara. I've said that wrong. I I can guarantee you. Um, yeah, and this is why th th this is here. This will be, this will have its own, like, uh, separate airport, uh, express service, won't, won't you say? It won't hit the main, the main terminal. It won't, it won't hit the main terminal. It will hit everything else but the main terminal. This is something I also need to look at. Might just build over or under with this track, but, um, the... This train so this airport service is going to uh, Willagon yeah and he's only stopping at Bungari so he's, it's, 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 he's essentially acting like a like an express service but he only go he terminates at the main the main airport hub as most other trains will and it won't be just on this line I'll be connecting this to the whole network my original plan was to have a train that is, have, have a train line from every town and then go into it, but I thought that was a bit overkill. So I'm probably going to do a, a handful of trains um, and have them stop at maybe one station or one town on the way. Might even switch it up and have one town, well, let, let's say we make uh, an airport service for Perth, right? Um, he passes Penguin and stops at Don, Don Ri. Don, Don, Don Ri? Don, Don Du. Um, and let's just say for the sake of it, I'm going to send up my trains this way in between DY and Bondi, just over the top or something like that, to make it easier to, get, to connect to here. Or I might just send them all the way down here to do the loop de loop and I'll add a bridge connection over to connect to the I don't know I haven't thought that far ahead but let's just say I've got one that goes there and then I can have one that uh, let's just see yeah, it starts from Perth but he skips Dundu but then stops at Goo Goo <laughs> these names I'm gonna imagine these are Aboriginal names but I just sound weird saying them um, but yeah like that's that's like the kind of system I might be looking at. It just depends. I think this would help ease the traffic on the main line and maybe allow me to reduce some of uh, uh, some of the trains. Because there was a lot. There was a lot. Let's just pull up um, this one, which is the first line, which has got a. Uh, a full capacity of 7,000 people, and there was a lot of trains on this thing. Look, manage vehicles, please. There is 23 vehicles. I don't even know if they're all used. But the thing is, I can't get an accurate number. Because all of these towns don't have buses. So they're only, like, grabbing people from here. 
they're not grabbing the whole town. So only only a small portion. Who knows? I might even need more than this. It really does depend. This is a tiny town. Damn, I need some cargo to you. Um, I believe that might be it. The only other thing is you probably saw it before. Where'd he go? There he is. Um, he is black as all hell. He was not like this before. Um, but this is a Queensland Rail branded electric uh, locomotive with grain wagons, of which I've swapped out for the previous um, what's I'm gonna call it the the previous train that I had on there, which was the double stackers. Got another Bondi. Not, not, not one day, Ballarat. And this is from the steel. It's uh, not steel, the tools. They're doing very nicely as well. Um, I probably don't need you now. I know, I feel like it's production has dropped down. I don't fucking know. Well, it's staying, so oh well. And yep, Sydney is increasing, lovely. But um, yeah, I think that is everything. The only like minor change that I did was just to do with track efficiency, because the grain line from over where, from over where we just where we where we just were. Sorry, my fucking like a tongue twistler today. Um, they go into a single track here. They go from a single track from here all the way to about here. At least they do now. Um, they now, they split off. Before they would follow the same line all the way up to here. But now because they got stuck at one point, they now go from here. I've moved the cargo line over a bit so it doesn't uh, inflict with their pathing because that line that line goes to here if I just le left it on that side so it merges in early um, and yeah it's big enough room for them to wait side by side and yeah it's fine I don't think I would be using all these tracks but they actually do have a, have a purpose so that's great and of course the the grain still coming in strong. It honestly probably needs more, but I'm not 100% sure. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm say that that's pretty much it. That's not the building I wanted to pick. What is it? No, it's not. We haven't reached full capacity on your end yet. Lovely. Um, well, yeah, that's that'll be it for this episode. Um, oh yeah, just the coal, coal connection. It goes through here, and it's Queensland Rail Base. So, how much are you holding? Do I need more? I might need more. Wait, what the fuck? What are you doing? How have you... Alright. You can... You can you can think about what, what you've done. Um, I'll just duplicate you one more. Let's see what happens. So yeah, now that's... That should be it. I don't have any... Yeah, I don't care. That'll be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll actually do some stuff. Just do some um, expanding, do some work. And um, I can go from there, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching. I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Ciao.
Circus.